is, is not only irresponsible. What's Your irresponsible Honor. is we have scores of people being diagnosed with these vague mental disorders, millions of whom are children. What's irresponsible is we have three-year-olds on antidepressants. Why? Because the drug companies, just like Big Tobacco, know that if you get these kids when they're young enough, you have a customer for life. I should sue you right now. You do not get a pass. You want to just sue me? Because Please do. Because truth is a complete defense, and I'm not the only one saying this. This industry invents chronic diseases, be it restless leg, dry eye syndrome, or these unspecified sleep disorders that require taking nightly doses of habit-forming tranquilizers. They first concoct the disorder, next the drug, and then they blitz the public with commercials to convince them they're afflicted, and it's especially effective with senior citizens. My client was popping pills like candy. He almost died. He's out of control. Your industry is out of control. You manufacture and sell disease at exorbitant costs, and the FDA refuses to regulate you. The pharmaceutical lobby has a death grip on Congress. Mr. Shore, you need to settle down. Your Honor, the FDA refuses to go after these people, so let it be me. They very nearly killed a man I dearly love. Let it be me. But let me get started, because they stall. Of the 27 to 50,000 Vioxx deaths, only 18 cases have reached juries so far. 18! Most of the plaintiffs will, in fact, be dead before they're compensated in any way. Well, my client is 75. So, please, let me get started on discovery, since clearly I'll need every second. All right. All right. I will let this case stand. What? Are you crazy? Perhaps you have a pill she could take. You're allowing him to go forward with no proximate cause. That's preposterous. What would be preposterous, sir, is if I were to extend the benefit of the doubt to your industry. Do I look like an idiot? They've got a pill for that, too. Will you shut up? I have made my ruling. We are adjourned. You've bitten off more than you can chew this time, my friend. Oh, I don't swallow. I just chew up and spit out. We'll see. Zing. I can see you're good at this. Nervous, Jerry? Interesting cross of yours. Little piece of advice, my friend. Never, ever get up in court and try to out me. Me. All right, Mr. Foreman. The jury has reached its verdict. We have, Judge. What say you? In the matter of Lauren Adario versus Superior Correctional Centers, we, the jury, find in favor of the plaintiff and order the defendant to pay damages in the amount of $1.7 million. Defense appeals, Judge. So noted. Members of the jury, thank you for your service. The judgment is entered. This matter is adjourned. You did it. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you. Can't win them all, Mel. Hey, can you win any? Two pops for yes, bro.